All right. Last but not least, William Zhu, CEO, chalk.com. Cool t shirt. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Uh, we are chalk.com, and we are a productivity suite for kindergarten to grade 12 teachers. Before I talk about the business, I wanted to talk about uh, how I get into the uh, education industry. I went to school at uh, University of Waterloo, which is on the East Coast, and every four months I visit home. Home is Vancouver, so I fly all the way cross country and I visit my family. But at the same time, I also visit my teachers. This is a picture of my high school. My teachers were not only my mentors, but they were also my friends. And every time I go in, it's around 4 or 5 p.m., every time I go in, I see them working tirelessly. Right? Every, everyone thinks that a teacher's day ends with the final bell, but that's just not the case. In fact, teachers are amongst the hardest working people I've known. And it's them that inspired me to get into education technology. But was, what's also impressive is that the ed tech industry is also worth $9 billion. This is K-12 ed tech software. This is huge. And currently, teachers are dealing with just way too many different tasks. Lesson planning, grading, record keeping, e-learning. There's so much going on, right? And what's out there simply do not handle What's out there simply do not handle it for the teacher. In fact, teachers today have to resort back to very siloed software or pen and paper to do their daily workflow tasks. And that's why we saw a huge opportunity here. There's a huge gap in the market, and we decided to tackle it. That's chalk.com. But we couldn't create a suite of products from the get-go. And we decided to focus on one thing. And that one thing was lesson planning. So in 2012, we launched our product, uh, Planboard, and Planboard helped kindergarten to grade 12 teachers to streamline their lesson planning, find resources, and collaborate with others. So imagine you're a math teacher teaching a unit on trigonometry. You come into our web application, plan out your lesson, pull in all your multimedia, upload everything so it's in all in one place, and because the curriculum is built in, you can easily align to it and have it right there. So that on Monday morning, all you have to do is teach directly from your iPad. It's simple. Now, there's a huge market driver, and that is the Common Core State Standards. This is a common set of curriculum that is being adopted by 45 states in the US. And because we have all of this built in, it's simple for the teacher to get started. And speaking of teachers, teachers are also ready. They're sharing resources on the internet, but more importantly, they're sharing about us. So in February of 2012, we launched our first app in the Chalk.com suite, but we made one big mistake and that was to charge teachers. In fact, it was, a, it was dead end. Uh, but we also got lucky. In October of uh, 2012, uh, one of our first customers approached us and told us we wanted to purchase 72 licenses today. We scrambled together, closed the deal, and we were happy, but we were also confused. We asked ourselves, how did it happen? Well, it turned out that it was one single teacher that championed us that sold us to their entire administration. So we said, how can we replicate more of this deal? In March of 2013, we changed our entire business model, and we gave away our productivity tool for the teacher absolutely for free. We told them to champion for us. Immediately, we saw results. The Ontario Teachers Federation, a huge union body, is today uh, now one of our key partners, and we've also signed up a private school for five years. But the 12-month following is really when we hit the jackpot. Today, we now have over $100,000 in annual recurring revenue from schools and school districts all over North America. But we are already looking ahead. In fact, we're looking at a $1.5 million pipeline today with a $500,000 annual recurring revenue forecast. And we've done all of this completely bootstrapped. And that's just the beginning. That's plan board. Imagine the morning attendance that a teacher needs to do, the lunch lesson planning, or the after-school grading. Chalk.com will handle all of them. And we're backed by an incredible team. I founded my first company in grade 10 of high school, sold my first SaaS business in first year of college, and I'm joined by my two amazing co-founders. 
Education is a tough industry, and we're poised to crack it. We're Chalk.com, and we're empowering kindergarten to grade 12 teachers. Thank you. Well, Caroline, why don't you start us off here? Great. Um, how, could you clarify a little bit more around the business model trajectory? Yep. So this was really helpful. And you explained that you tried selling it to the teachers first and then realized that turning the teachers into your biggest champions was a, a better distribution strategy. So how, do you, how did you go from that to selling to institutions? So today, can a teacher, can an aggregate of teachers use this product for free? And if so, why would their institution pay for it? How did, how did the dynamics work? Teachers are absolutely uh, welcome to sign up uh, for a free account. And all of our productivity apps, uh, teachers can use by themselves for free. Okay. Uh, what we found is that there's a natural progression when teachers get comfortable with that tool. Teachers are very vocal people. In staff room, they just, you know, they talk, right? They want to share this. And what we found was a great selling point for schools was essentially collaboration. So think what Yammer did with uh, Enterprise. Uh, you know, when you have, let's say, a 20% penetration, when there's pressure coming from the bottom, that's when the administration will buy. Got it. Right? Lise, what kind of follow-up do you have? Oh, yeah. <laughs> not, not a poker face, huh? Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> when there is a follow-up sale, are you selling to the school? Are you selling to the grade? Are you selling to the school district? Who, who do you have to market to? And how do you reach them? The school and the school district. Uh, all of our sales are the 100K ARR. That's completely inbound at this point. And, uh, you know, we will be doing more proactive sales where because we have all of this data we know exactly where essentially every teacher coming in through our platform they tell us what school they're from we actually can tally that data up and say okay what are the penetration rates are for each and single of the schools david yeah, i just wanted to follow up on both of those questions to understand the model so if if within a school eighty percent of the teachers have have started using it for free mm -hmm. I, I guess I'm still a little confused. Why would the why would the principal or the superintendent want to write a check? Why wouldn't he just tell the other 20% to get in line? There's no way to, for them to collaborate right now. Uh, oh, so, so it's the collaboration exactly. tool. Exactly. On top of this whole thing, uh, essentially, it's one login access to a suite of tools, but there's no way to link them together unless the entire school purchases. But if I'm an algebra teacher, I don't really care if I'm collaborating with the Shakespeare teacher. But you right? you care about collaborating with the other. Algebra teachers. I see. Yes. Okay. And uh, if I could follow up, there, so there are some big companies that are, and I agree going narrow is the smart way to go, but there's some companies like Pearson and uh, Blackboard and the like that are trying to pick these off, one off, and they have a huge sales force and they go superintendent by superintendent mm -hmm. or principal by principal. You're going to have to go to the field, won't you, to sell? Kind Absolutely. Of uh, when you get to the very top uh, school board level, you do have that, uh, but it's almost as a sandwich effect. With the bigger school boards that we've done, the way we went to the meetings is essentially so we say, okay, can we bring two of your teachers? We're not doing any of those sales. Yeah. Your teachers will sell for you. Got it. Thank you. Yeah. James Stern. Yeah. I mean, you've done a lot with very little. That's, that's really admirable. Tell me, as you think about expanding your footprint, who do you bump up against? And then tell me how you think about other guys who have had other, other startups that have other distribution strategies like Edmodo or any number of guys. Well, I mean, our bigger competitors, so to speak, perceived competitor are the learning management system companies, right? I mean, these guys are huge. They have the channels, as you said. Uh, but really, it's a very different philosophy. Um, they operate on, here's one giant thing. Teacher, go use it. And teacher, go, well, what is this, right? Um, how, how do I use it? It's analogous to the big ERP system that, well, essentially people are forced using. And their entire also go-to-market is also sell to the very top, right? And sure, they can fulfill the checkboxes and make the sale for, let's say, three years and whatnot. They sign a contract. But very likely, that contract will turn out. And our thesis is once we get the contract, we are able to stay in the system for much longer. Why? Because we also have the teacher's buy-in. So one thing that's really important in education is you have to satisfy all the key stakeholders. And what the LMS companies are doing mostly right now are satisfying the administrators. Jay Clark, you get the final word. Great. My question is simple. Where do you want to take this? You've got, you know, in five years, tell us where that projection takes in five you years? in a $9 billion market. All right. Well, hopefully all of that $9 billion market and more. <laughs> <laughs> Our goal is really when a teacher thinks about their entire day, right, starting with attendance to the lesson planning to the grading, 
they think about chalk.com. We are the first thing that comes to mind, much like the Microsoft Office for the business world or the Adobe Creative Suite for the design world. We are filling that gap. Great. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you. Thank you.